let's work with that one so i'll do 11 inches i'll bring it up here by 11 inches but if you want your dress to fit then you have to look for your waist measurement then um add your darts and every other thing that follows suit especially also if you're working with a is a spandex fabric fabric that stretches so for me i'm going to be adding yeah let me add elastic band maybe by the side I'll add elastic band by the side so um this figure that i have here i can decide to reduce it if i feel it's too much i'll reduce it by an inch okay just work with whatever that suits you so at the end of the day i'm going to be having one one quarter take note of this figure because you're going to be adding it to the upper part on the waistline so that this part and that other um, upper part will match up it's very very important to take note of this so i have one one quarter although i'll still show you guys when we are cutting let me write that down okay i have one one quarter extra so you're going to connect this point you're going to connect this point I'm working with this so i'm connecting to this point and You can see right now I've exceeded my my taking for my hip it's supposed to be on 11 now it's 11 and quarter because I want it to flow or out I need I need it to flow out okay so always make sure you check this hip to make sure that your hip fits in here if not you have to extend it you have to extend it okay at this point I think we are done with the upper part let's go down so to centralize my marking I am going to take whatever I have here 13 and a half inches from this margin to my crotch line I'm going to take it down to my hemline so 13 and a half inches right down to my hemline then I'll look for the midpoint of this and mark it on the hemline I look for the midpoint and mark it. You can see so. So here will be the midpoint for my markings. This will guide me to have a centralized um, shot. My shot will not be moving side to side when I put it on. Okay. So I hope you can see this. Now the next thing you're going to do now is to mark your the lower. That's the knee. The whatever measurement you've got on your knee, however you want to put it, we're going to mark it here. So for me, I I already added ease when I measured then. Though the the actual figure is 19 inches, so I'll do 19 inches divided by two, and I have nine and a half inches. But my ease after adding my ease, the way I want the dress to to look like. I got 24 inches and that 24 inches if I divide it by two what I'll have is six inches so um, approximately let's do that again I've forgotten what I got earlier nine and a half nine and a half for 19 24 is what 12 12 rather it's 12 24 is 12 so I'm working with 24 or I can still work with my main measurement then add the ease whichever it can go so anyone you choose you can work with so let me just show you step by step I'll show you the first and show you the second one now the first one which is the, the figure that fits to my body which is 19 inches and 19 inches divided by 4 is 9 and a half right so that 9 and a half 19 inches divided by 2 is 9 and a half right so that 9 and a half you will still look for the division of it you divide it by two again okay so whatever you get you're going to place the the creased part so you can see what i did i creased my tape by folding then whatever wherever the crease falls into goes to the midpoint then you take that out mark to the edge and also mark to the other edge nine and a half right so that means it's at this at this point That means that it's at this point, right? 
Now remember, I said I can still work with my the one with my ease. If I want to work with the one with my ease, I will have to do 24 divided by 2, which is 12 inches. This 12 inches, I will still divide it by 2 again. So the crease part stays on the midpoint. And I open up the tape. I mark what is here. And I mark the other one here. So at this point, I will have... This one is the one that fits to my body. That's not what I am working with. I need ease. Approximately then, I have automatically added one one quarter of an ease of an inch as my ease on the hemline. I hope you can understand my English anyway. <laughs> okay, let's continue. What I'm just trying to say is I added ease when I was measuring and I still have my main body measurement, which I can still add ease after putting that main body measurement. You can still add your ease later. So adding my ease later, this is what I have. But this is what I have. What one and a half, one one quarter of an inch is what the ease has turned out to be. So that's that. Now, if you're working on a pant, if you've seen a pant pattern before, you find out that the front and the back are usually not equal, right? They are usually not equal. We're going to talk about that right now. But let me first of all let me square up my my markings. With a pencil, yes, because this is not going to be my real deal. So I've used the pencil to square up. We need to create difference between the front and the back. And to do that, you need to reduce your front. There are different techniques in creating a difference. If you've seen a trouser pattern before, you know what I'm talking about. That the front and the back are usually not the same. So this is what I usually do. I will reduce my pattern on the hemline, that's for the front I'm reducing. I'm reducing by one quarter of an inch, one quarter. So you can see why I marked with my pencil. On the hemline, I reduce by one quarter. So this becomes my new line, I'll square it up to this point. Square top. This becomes my line. Now, the reason for reducing this pattern is to create difference between the front and the back. When we get to the back, we are going to add this reduction back to back to the pattern. It will be. It will return back to the pattern. Then it you. It will not create that difference that we are looking for. So we'll see that when we get there. So at this point, I need to remove my waistband. Remember, we are doing uh we did we removed one inch for the up and we are going to remove remove one inch for this down part. The reason is to have a total of two inches waistband at the end of the day that we're going to use to create our band. So I'm taking out two inches, but before then I want to create a slant. I have to create a slant, sorry about that. So on my waistline, I'll come up by half inch, then connect all the way down to my center front here. Yes, this is my center front. This becomes my new line, okay? This will create a curve. I told you that your body is not straight at any time. Everywhere has a curve in one part or another. So I will look for that one inch for the band. Measuring from my new line, this is no longer my line. Measuring from my new line, I'll look for my one inch all the way down. Then I'll rule that so that I can be able to cut it out later. So now I'm cutting. So as you can see, I am done with my front. Let's go to the back. So don't be in a hurry to cut out your waistband like I did because you're supposed to do this to the back also before cutting out everything. 